So hello friends, welcome to this uh, lecture. So in this series of video, we are dis discussing about a fundamental concepts in biology taken from uh, Ryan Stad, that uh, CBSA text, the topic, the basic unit of life, the one topic that describes about the cell and its organelle. So the subtopic here is plasma membrane. So we have one previous discussion uh, in, a, in a spread video. The link is given in the description. So in which uh, the topic of the concept of solution is discussed. So you might all wonder why is the solution, concept of solution is required the, to understand the biology of plasma membrane. So for us to understand, kindly go to that video, watch it and then join us here. Okay. So with this, <laughs> we will get into this present discussion. So here the scenario is this, I have given you two solutions, that is A and B. The description regarding the solutions are given. This is going to be 2 gram in 100 ml, A and B is going to be 10 gram in 100 ml, right? So you know that the solute is going to be more in B than A, solvent concentration is going to be more in A than B and solvent volume is all going to be C. So these inferences you can make, okay, when you listen to the previous video, okay? Right, now, <laughs> when given the situation, what happens is, the system will try to neutralize. And I, I remember, mind, I'm going to membrane here, that separates A and B, right? The system will try to equalize or neutralize according to the law of diffusion. So, what is law of diffusion? It states that the particle moves from higher concentration to lower concentration. Any particle can move from higher concentration to lower concentration. So the particle can be a solute or it can be a solvent. In solute, there are different, you know, particle, like it can be a salt. In salt, you have varieties, varieties, okay? So in this situation, we have got a solute and a solvent. So in case of solute is getting diffused, Okay, it is going to move from higher to lower, that is from B to A. Oh, MD1 understands this. Or if it is going to be the diffusion of solvent, the solvent concentration is going to be more in A, so it's going to move from A to B. Right? So on one basis is I can I can call this as a scenario one, I can call this as scenario two, or what basis? Is this scenario determined? So it all depends on the nature of the membrane that I'm that I'm using here to separate A and B. The nature of the membrane can be three possibilities, basically two possibility, or I mean three possibility. I can say it is completely permeable. That is, it can allow any particle, uh, you know, to uh, to move move across. So it is as uh, you know, good as not having a membrane. The second is going to be Incomplete, I mean, uh, 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 completely impermeable. That is, the, it is not going to allow any particle, okay, to move across it. And the third situation is it can be a selectively permeable. Okay, it is going to be selectively permeable. So, what do you mean by the selectively permeable? Like, if you are going to have a particle A, particle B, particle C, like, you know, I can say this temporary can allow particle A, but not B, or it can allow C. So, it is going to be very choosy in allowing the particle to diffuse across it. Right? So, this is what is called as a selectively permeable. And in some cases, if the membrane is going to allow just the solvent alone, then it is called as a semi-permeable. Right, semi permeable. So, this is the different types of membrane, and mostly biology we have a selectively permeable membrane. Now, in this uh, scenario, if I'm going to consider this membrane as a semi permeable membrane, which means that my solute is not getting around here to diffuse. So, only the solvent can, okay, is allowed to diffuse, which means that. The solvent can move from its higher concentration to lower concentration. So from its higher concentration means from A okay, to B. So this case is possible. When if this membrane 
okay is considered as a semi permeable membrane you get this point now scenario 1 is also a diffusion scenario 2 is also diffusion but scenario 2 is a specialized diffusion okay that is it is the movement of solvent from its higher concentration to lower concentration across a semi permeable membrane so this diffusion is what you call it as a osmosis okay this diffusion is what we call it as an osmosis so osmosis is a kind of specialized diffusion it is the movement of solvent not solute movement of solvent by solvent alone because of the semi permeable membrane okay so it is the movement of or the diffusion of solvent from its higher concentration is it not a higher concentration from the solvent higher concentration to lower concentration across a semi permeable membrane okay because there is also a confusion uh, you know in terms of plus i mean osmosis uh, uh, definition that is people generally say that osmosis is the movement of solvent from higher concentration to lower concentration they make a general statement but according to the law of uh, you know the osmosis the statement is wrong so when you say from in general from higher concentration to lower concentration you mean a solute that is b to e okay so osmosis is the movement of solvent from its solvent's higher concentration to lower concentration so then it should be from b to e okay so better to say osmosis is the movement of solvent from its higher concentration to lower concentration or if you are not using the word its then you can say osmosis is the movement of solvent from lower concentration to higher concentration okay lower concentration means solute lower concentration which is from here to here i hope you understood this concept in case if you have any worries and doubts please do mail us or please do express it in the comment section i'll be happy to clear okay thank you so much thanks for watching